the whole blood program is really to increase survivability and initially in our trauma patients, but eventually medical patients as well. It will help them get the emergency care they need faster and ultimately the goal is to save lives. It's a unique product, not used in all hospitals at all locations, that is the blood in its purest form. Normally when blood is manufactured, it's made into different components such as red cells, plasma, and platelets. Uh, this is blood that is not manufactured into its further components. It's kept whole, all of the life-saving components in one dose. That way it can go quickly into the patient and can be compatible and safe for any patient in the field that might need it. Pierce County Whole Blood Program is going to benefit the community by saving the lives of trauma patients. For every one minute that goes by, there's an 11% increase in mortality. So if we can get the blood on the streets and the rigs out to the scene of the rescue and get it to the patients faster, we're gonna obviously save a number of lives. The whole blood program is unique in that we are taking a very advanced concept that is usually held in the hospital and we're bringing it out to the streets. We have tried to shift our kind of focus um, in the care of these patients to bringing the resources that we have in the hospital and how we would treat these people in the hospital out to the point of injury because you know, people don't just get injured right outside the hospital, they get injured where they get injured. And sometimes that's an hour away. And we need to focus on the time that they get injured and not the time that EMS gets there and not the time they get to the hospital. I've watched people die from hemorrhage and I'm sure every single one of the paramedics in this county has, and it's, it's, uh, it's hard. Uh, especially when you know it has to happen and you can't do it. Um, and I think we don't talk about the moral injury that that causes. Bloodworks Northwest will supply the blood um, and our EMS ones and Central Pierce's um, MSOs will come and pick up the blood from MultiCare Blood Bank and um, it'll be kept on our rigs in the field. And when a whole blood activation is activated, MSOs and EMS ones will respond and uh, provide that service if they deem that it's an appropriate patient that needs it. When those two units are transfused, they will come back to Tacoma General to seek a replenishment. Uh, we will then give them new units. So we're acting as the broker between the blood supplier and EMS to make sure they get the products they need in our local region. Uh, if it's likely that this patient might need whole blood, um, i.e. this is a prolonged extrication from a motor vehicle crash or another type of a traumatic incident with arrest, uh, if it's a problematic uh, childbirth uh, with certain conditions, if it's a GI bleed, if the patient's exhibiting any signs of hypovolemia or, or some sort of hemorrhagic shock, um, our dispatchers will be able to, t to send uh, a whole blood unit. Um, we'll head there post haste uh, priority um, and depending upon the length of the extrication or the however long it takes to get to the patient, we might be hanging blood uh, while they're working to get the patient out of the vehicle if we can. Um, more than likely, uh, what will be happening is that as a patient gets extricated to us, we'll be moving them to a, a medic unit um, where I'll be responding with my Delta Ice Cooler, which has a couple units of blood in it. Um, the, the paramedics on scene will, will have started IVs already and I'll be able to kind of plug and play, um, verify that the patient will in fact need blood, um, which should be pretty easy to do. We'll hang the blood and we'll get it going to the hospital and that's gonna save a lot of time. It's a process for the hospitals to get the blood or, and or blood products going once they do their assessment. If we can take that piece out of the puzzle, um, it's going to save valuable minutes and uh, in turn should have real favorable outcomes for all of our uh, citizens. It allows us to give people um, trauma care, cutting edge trauma care before they get to the trauma hospital. It allows for better oxygen, oxygenation. It allows for survivability that only whole blood can give. In Pierce County, we have traumatic injuries from violent trauma, from vehicular injury, um, and other bleeding uh, related injuries uh, such as gastrointestinal bleeding or bleeding as a result of complications of pregnancy. To date, it's been a challenge to get blood to patients in a timely manner. And we've learned a lot from uh, military campaigns, the difference that timely blood administration can make in the survivability and the outcomes of patients. There are over 100 EMS agencies throughout the country that have been bold enough to bring uh, blood administration programs to the streets and to the city, uh, to patients where the need is the most. 
and what we've seen is remarkable outcomes in terms of survivability. Through the collaborative efforts of uh, Central Pierce Fire and Rescue and Tacoma Fire Department, we've had a lot of energy and enthusiasm, and then through collaborative relationships with MultiCare and with Bloodworks Northwest and the MultiCare Health Foundation, all the moons have really aligned in order to create an opportunity for the first time in Pierce County where we can start to have a program where we can, with the same amount of safety and the same protocols and the same amount of diligence and patient care, provide this life-saving intervention to patients uh, within those first moments after their injury. This has been an absolutely amazing opportunity for us to be able to come uh, only through these partnerships uh, to provide this level of care to our community. Bloodworks is really dedicated to the community in a variety of ways. It's both maintaining the blood supply for the hospitals, making sure that there's a safe supply constantly on hand when it's needed by the hospitals, but also we do life-saving research. Um, we're renowned for um, our research on bloodborne diseases. Um, we also do testing of blood for other blood banks. It's a game changer to have these voluntarily donated units of blood out in our communities on these emergency services vehicles so we don't have to wait till a patient who is at risk gets to a hospital. Um, but it heavily relies on and is solely dependent on members of our community donating blood regularly. So if people can, we're asking people now, we're raising the awareness, helping people to understand about this program and asking that people make the effort to donate blood. And there's a variety of locations where they can donate all across Western Washington. They can go to bloodworksnw.org slash give blood. And there's a map and they can find a location, a day and time that works best for them and make an appointment, whether it's at a mobile blood drive where they work or at a nearby community center or there's a brick and mortar donor center near them. Blood donation is almost a selfish thing. You know, that impacts uh, not only other people, but ourselves. Who knows what could happen, um, you know, tomorrow or I, there could be an accident or years from now, a uh, cancer diagnosis. Uh, none of us know. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to do it for others, donate blood for yourself. Um, and making sure that that's at the hospital if it's needed. Out of all the thousands and thousands of EMS agencies across the country, only 180 are doing the whole blood program. And so this demonstrates, you know, the foresight and, and ingenuity of the paramedics and, and EMS providers within Pierce County and their determination to do the best that they can for their patients. And one thing that you see when you look at Central Pierce, or Tacoma Fire Department, the other paramedics that are working in the county is their passion for taking care of their patients. So much so that they are the ones who are donating blood to put back in the patients and keep the blood program going. There's a huge population of our people that have medical bleeds that um, I think people don't even think about. Um, and there's an array of causes of those bleeds um, or disease processes that might cause those bleeds. But um, one population that I particularly am excited about are like our pregnant moms that maybe bleed um, post delivery or have complications during pregnancy that could really benefit this and potentially whole blood could um, potentially save moms and babies lives. So I think this is um, that's like a population. I think a lot of people don't think about that this program is going to benefit. Through this process, we're following all sorts of FDA regulations, you know, and that's been a huge part of this process. Our equipment's validated and certified, and we have to keep the blood within certain temperatures. You know, also the blood is, you know, tested and screened for infectious diseases at the blood bank before we even get it. We're using a common blood type, but it's also a low titer, so it has low A and B antibodies in the plasma, and it's known to be safe. The program is very safe. There are a number of redundancies built into the program. All of the equipment is validated. It's resourced from distributors who do nothing but produce equipment for pre-hospital blood administration. It takes a lot of money for this equipment. Uh, this equipment is not within the normal budgets of fire service programs. It is, uh, while very safe and very proven, very cutting edge technology, and that requires very expensive equipment. Our partnership with the MultiCare Health Foundation has been able to make those resources available and through their emergency department and through their foundation has helped support get this program um, off the ground so we would not have been able to do it without them. I think that this is gonna this is gonna help everyone every age um, every color every nationality every denomination 
everybody bleeds the same way. I think the, the survivability rates are gonna, are gonna climb. Um, I think you're gonna see real tangible results. You're gonna hear them because I think people are gonna come forward and say, hey, this procedure saved my life. Um, I, I can't see it going any other direction, really. This will be probably one of the single things I'm most proud of doing in my entire career is getting all of these pieces put together to make this happen. There are very few things that we do in medicine that have this dramatic of an impact on saving patient lives, morbidity and mortality. I mean, quite honestly, this is one of the most useful interventions and will save more lives than any other piece of equipment on those paramedic units. So to say that we're excited that this is hitting the field is an understatement. Uh, and it has taken a long time. And there are some things that need to be done right from the very beginning without fail. And this is one of them. So even though it's taken us a long time to get to this point, it's better to do it right and to do it carefully. And we're really excited that we're doing it, putting our best foot forward and making sure that the quality of care that we're providing to the community is the best it can possibly be.